Hey guys, today we'll be showing you how to make an equatorial sundial, which is slightly a variation of your typical sundial as it uses a half a circle rather than a full circle. And this one uses the gnomon to sh shine the shadow onto the points to show the, or predict the time. And to first, you're gonna need a template like this one, which you, I found at skyandtelescope.org, and I'll share the link. And this template shows the time or the predicted time, and then also the side has a marking for the latitude of where you're living, depending on where you are. And this one in particular is for the northern hemisphere, so there'll be another one for the southern one as well. So I'm going to fold mine at the 42 mark, right above the 40, on both sides as evenly as possible make sure it crease it. Next, you're also going to need a piece of cardboard that's roughly the same size as a piece of paper, but it can also be smaller um, lengthwise like this one, which is roughly five and a half by ten and a half. And then you, what you want to do is you want to trace your template onto the cardboard and then cut it out so that it becomes uh, roughly the same size. Like that. And make sure you get the edges as clean, as accurate as possible so that the timing is also accurate. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna score the size of the, the uh, sundial or the equatorial sundial from the cardboard and align parallel to the ones on the side right here so that it can make an easier crease like that and so it can fold in easily and may bend it in way easier like that next you can take your template sundial and you can place it on here and just glue it on like that or you can redraw it and but you have to make sure it's pretty accurate for that to work after that, you'll see that template actually has a circle, original circle here. So I've already poked a hole in it, but there's actually an original circle. What you want to do is you want to poke a hole in it, and that'll be where the gnomon goes. You can put like a pencil or a skewer, something, to tell, to create the shadow. And what you want to do is on a cardboard, line it up, and you want to make sure you have the same circle right there, and maybe use your scissors and you can make it another hole so that you can fit through both the paper and the cardboard. Like that. And once you have those together, you can use a, either like a colored pencil or a skewer. I'll just use this pencil as an example. And you can just poke it through both once it's taped. Make sure it's as straight as possible. And You'll notice that as this is staying on side, the pencil also should be touching the ground or wherever it's resting on so that it, the pencil will actually stand upward. Like that, something like that. And then you just place it in the sun and it'll create a shadow that will help predict the time. It's not necessarily completely accurate, but it's a good indication of what time it is. And it's just a fun little experiment you can do at home and make a sundial. And you can test out like the different latitudes or different heights to see which one works, how it changes and how the time changes on here. And see, I guess just test how accurate it is. Uh, have fun making this equatorial sundial.